Homes for the Holidays continues with this great model home here by Meritage Homes in Winter Garden. Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we are out here in the final phase of one of my favorite Meritage communities called Watermark. So this is their Barrett model home. It's their Barrett floor plan. We actually have another Barrett video of their other former model back in another phase. But this community is outstanding and this is another great, very versatile floor plan. One of my favorite things about this Barrett, it's actually four bedrooms, three and a half baths, but um, it's also a really great nook that is just super creative for using it for however will work for you. But let's talk about this floor plan as it goes here in this model home. So right up here at the front of the home, one of my favorite things is that it's a full bedroom with its own private full bath. The other thing that I like so much about this are these two big windows that are right here. And in this particular elevation, you have a nice front porch. I just think this is so beautiful. And again, it has its own private bathroom, which is really nice. So back over here, you have your tub shower combo. You've got your single sink vanity cabinet counter mirror, and of course the toilet. So if you have a family member, if you want to use this as a guest room, it's just nice to know that right here at the front of the home, kind of tucked away from all of the rest of the family living space, Space is this full bedroom with its own private full bath. So this space over here is another versatile room. So if you want, you can actually create this space as an office space. You could put your French doors here if you wanted and create this more as a private office. You could stage it the way they have it here, more as a little living space, sitting area. If you want to put your grand piano right there, maybe you want to use it as a craft room, hobby room, playroom, game room. It's just nice to have that versatile space, that flex space there as well. All right. One of my other favorite things about the Barrett floor plan is the layout of the kitchen. I love curves, angles, and interest. So this kitchen really resonates with me. I love the really unique shape here of the island where it's straight here, but then it kind of moons around. I love that. I love this extra little kind of a nook over here. I just always think about this as a great little serving station. If you were having friends and family, it's a great little spot to kind of put some hors d'oeuvres. But all of this space, this big kind of corner, um, corner situated kitchen. I love it. Lots of cabinet and counter space. And if you're looking for design ideas, you can see how they have that entire extra bank of cabinets up above, which is really, really beautiful. It's a great way to store ex extra um, dishes and things that you don't necessarily use all the time. Or you can do it with a glass front and make it more of a design option, kind of um, putting in a beautiful, colorful vase or something. So your uh, informal dining right over here, again, all beautiful, open and connected right here to your family room as well. So you'll notice that in this particular home they have the French doors right here. Now this is a model home so you can see that they've also extended their outdoor living space. They've created a pool. It really makes a nice outdoor living space and just imagine if you had these doors open especially on a day like today where the breeze is out there really bringing your outdoor space in. Now this is my favorite thing about this floor plan. So back over here you have a pool bath entry so here's another door here. The pool bath entry because you do have a powder bath right here so it's tucked away at the rear of the home which is really nice but this spot right here now in this particular model home they're using this as to show you all the incredible energy efficiency features that Meritage Homes have the way that they build and construct their homes what makes them different what sets them apart from the other builders but if you go back and look at my other Barrett floor plan this actually is an open space but they actually had this staged kind of like as a little wine room you could actually create this nook as an office space because this nook here actually really does exist in the floor plan, just not with all of their um, energy efficiency kind of representations and gadgets in here. But this is a great spot. Also, if you have kids, little ones, playroom, or if you happen to love your fur babies, 
oh my gosh, what could you do with that space? Design it, decorate it all for the fur babies. I'm getting so excited about that option. Okay, so let's head upstairs. Now in this home, other than that guest suite that we saw on the first floor, all of the other bedrooms are upstairs. So you have the master bedroom, two more bedrooms, another full bath, huge laundry room, and then you also have a bonus room over here as well. So let's go over here to the master first. So master bedroom, Super nice master bedroom. Now in the other Barrett floor plan, um, or in the other Barrett model home video tour of their other former phase, all of those homes have now sold and they've moved across the street, created their final phase here. They actually had a balcony option off of this master where there was a door here and it went to a balcony. That's one of those options that honestly, it's only a really great option for you if you have something beautiful to look out to with that balcony. In this case, without it, it gives you an entire wall, which I think is a little bit more, um, it's, 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 it's a better choice to be quite honest because it gives you an entire wall to put furniture, things like that. Big, beautiful master though. Look, they have the gorgeous tray ceiling in here and they have the nice big walk-in closet. So while we're here, I wanna point something out. You know, when you look up into the tray ceiling, you're gonna have a center lighting fixture where they have right here. It's typically going to be either a little mushroom lamp, you can put a ceiling fan there, it can hold a better lighting fixture like that. But it's these four extra lights, these like uh, LED lights that they have in there. Those are extras that you can add. And whenever I talk to my clients, we did not do this when we built our home. I didn't really have anybody kind of um, guiding me or giving me some options for that and whether or not it would be a smart decision. But I want you to see that because you may or may not like having those extra can lights in your master. Personally, I think I would have added it in hindsight. Can't do it now, but that's a really good option. Okay, so back to the home tour. So this is the Barrett model um, master bathroom. I really like the way this is laid out as well because you have defined separate his and her vanities. I love the corner situated garden tub. Again, remember I like my angles and my corners and my interest to room, so I think that this is really cool. Nice big frameless shower um, back behind you, and then of course you have the privacy door for the toilet as well. So the master bedroom, when you come up the stairs, was immediately over to your right. We're going to continue down the hall and we'll save the game room for last. But back over here you have a huge, huge laundry room. So remember I told you a few minutes ago how big this laundry room is? It is huge, right? Lots and lots and lots of space. Washer, dryer space, but look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six cabinets up above. You've got the utility sink in here that they've added and you've still got cabinet counter space below as well. And even more room if you want to decorate. So the two bedrooms are over here on either inside of the home. So a nice size bedroom here. Uh, let's see, from corner to corner, you've got space here. You have a nice big closet as well. And then the bathroom here is um, shared by both of these bedrooms. So you have a nice bathroom here, tub, shower, combo. You have your single sink. You have your linen closet. And again, this services these two bedrooms. The other bedroom is right back over here to this side. So upstairs, you have that master hallway, linen closet, and then these two bedrooms. Again, super adorable with the design. So if you're looking for designer tips, these are just super cute. That's a cute kid's room. Then you have these two bedrooms are kind of tucked away back here toward the end of the hall with their own private bathroom. And then again, the master up in that direction. But this room right here is another one of those really fun zones. So as an option to have this bonus room here, this is really special. Spectacular. It's a nice big room, certainly can be utilized however you want. If you need it more as an adult second kind of area, um, TV watching, kind of like they have it designated here. They've got little workstations. That's a really smart idea. If you need it as an actual kid's playroom, if you've got little kids and you've just got mountains of Cinderella castles, all of those little tykes, I thought they still have little tykes, I think they still call that, all of that furniture um, and toys. Um, this is a great room for that. But here's one of my favorite things. It's the door. It's the door, <clears throat> excuse me, to the game room because it keeps this room private. If you need privacy because there's a lot of noise going in here, if you need privacy or you wanna hide the mess that's behind the door, the door is really smart. So it's a really good idea. Not all bonus rooms or flex spaces or loft areas have that. Okay, so this floor plan, this is the Barrett floor plan, 2,456 square feet, I think. So it's a little over 2,400 square feet. Great floor plan, very versatile. First floor has that bedroom with the full bath. You've got that great little nook tucked away area back behind. I love that space. I don't know why. I just really love that little nook back there. But they are in the final, final, final lots here in Watermark. This is a great community here in the heart of Winter Garden. Fantastic amenities, incredible builder. This is a great community. So if you want to get in this community, you really need to act quickly. 
don't call next year, you need to get in ASAP. So remember, I do not represent the builder, I am a realtor here, helping you as you are trying to search for homes, home ideas, design ideas. So your next step after watching this video before you do anything else is to call me at 407-848-8042. Let me help you with all of this information that I have here on this YouTube channel. There's a lot more up in my head. There's a lot of different ways that I can help you to try to help connect you through this incredible amount of opportunity you have here in this area to kind of hone it in and find the ones that are actually more perfectly suited for you. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I appreciate you watching. Thank you again, everybody. I hope you have a great day and happy house hunting.